Alrighty, guys. Well, well, well. We got uh, stuff scattered all over my room again. <laughs> what else is new? Anyways, this time we're going to have a Apple bundle. I know I've already had some people offer me, uh, uh, offer me a price for my Apple stuff. Uh, but I don't feel like accepting any bids until after I at least show everyone that, what they're expecting and what they're getting. Uh, if you're interested, rebid uh, based upon what you see here because I don't want people to just assume certain things that are, you know, not gonna, you know, that are not true. So, anyways, um, here's what we're gonna get with the APA. Uh, so, I've got the uh, APA baseball from the, uh, actually, from the company, as you can see. Uh, and this includes the regular game and the master game so you can see i have the regular game and then i also bought the master edition you're not going to get the master edition box because i think that's gone uh, but you will get the regular basic edition you will get the master edition book uh, you will receive a copy of the rules for the master edition uh, the actual that was rules I printed out but you actually have the printed rules from the company some score sheets some little tokens uh, information and your little uh, thing there and I will also include the little shaker and the red and the white dice as well so I put these back in there so I don't forget and you will receive the final four teams from the 2018 season, which are Boston, Houston, Los Angeles, and Milwaukee. 2018 cards from, you know, just like you'd order from them with their logos and everything and the players and everything. And I think we, uh, we used Boston, or yeah, Boston and Houston. I don't think we ever used the Los Angeles and Milwaukee cards for anything. So again, uh, you get the tokens, the dice, the dice roller. Uh, so it'd be everything just like you'd order from Stratomatic. Uh, I think that's everything. Let's put this in this little bag as well. So I don't forget. There you go. So you're going to have that. Uh, the four teams, the sheets, the um, was this uh, score sheets. That's what I meant to say. Uh, instructions for use in the master game actually from the company and then a separate printout that I got offline or whatever and printed them out myself so you wouldn't have an extra copy of that the master edition book with all of the charts and everything pristine condition I don't think I ever even used this uh, I read through the rules. Uh, I think I might have tried it out once and decided I didn't like it. And then, of course, your regular basic rules. Now that's all the stuff that comes in the box. And now, so what else is included in the bundle? Well, I purchased from some APA stuff from a guy a while back. And again, I'm not an, ex an expert on APA, but this is what I received. So, um, so you'll have to take it with a grain of salt as to what you're getting. And maybe some of you experts out there will know more than I will know. So I'm going to pull this stuff out of the box so you can look at it. And then there's a second box here has more stuff and more stuff all right so, so, so some of this I know is the 1986 season cards 1986 season cards from APA. Um, do they, I don't know if they include 
uh, extra players or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 cards for California from 1986. So I'm sure you can get online and figure out how many cards. I think it comes to fault if I'm not mistaken again I'm not an expert at APA so take this all with what I know if you know better then you should go with what you know because I'm not an expert but I think they normally sell 30 cards per team <coughs> as default and so like with 30 teams you get 900 cards so this has 38 cards so I'm assuming the extra players oh, are included in the 1986 season. If you want, you can randomly choose another team. Detroit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So I think there's 37 cards with Detroit. So again, I think if my um, thoughts are correct, you, it would be with the extra players. So just assume that with the 1986 season. And you can see all the different teams here. Los Angeles, San Diego, Philadelphia, Detroit, California, Kansas City, Baltimore, St. Louis. I mean, there's just a whole bag of the teams, so I'm assuming <coughs> they're all in here. Chicago, there is two, four, six, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 teams. So in 1986, if there was 26 teams, you know you got them all, unless I miscounted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 26. I think there's 26 there. So let's just assume that is a bundle, right? And everything's in there and has all the extra player cards and everything, all right? Then we also have, and again, I'm not an expert, so I don't know how to how best to do this. We also have, what is this? This is 1970 season. This is the 1970 season. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Again, I don't, you can, you're gonna have to get online and look if you wanna know if the extra players are here or not. I'm sure somebody can let us know in the comments section, but there's 32 for New York from 1970. So uh, let's try, uh, well, here's another New York. This must be the Mets, Tommy Ag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, to one, to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, to seven, to eight, to nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So there's thirty-two in here too. So maybe they came with thirty-two. Maybe not. I don't know. Not an not an Apple expert on the sets and everything. This is 1970 season, and they do have the master symbols on them down at the bottom, as you can see there. Um, you know, so you can kind of see what's on there. I'll just kind of grab a couple at random here, so you know what comes on the cards. Hello. Wants to focus in on me. Don't stop. Oh, there you go. Kuzmin. I can't 
Andrew. All right. So that's 1970. 1986, I think, was the same way with the master sets on the cards. Let's go back and look at 1986 real quick. This is the 1986. Come on, you stupid thing. All right, so you can see. Some of the players and this, uh, the information that's on the cards. All right, so that's 1986. So I think these also have the master the master um, information on the cards. All right. So it's 1970, 1986. All right. Then what I ended up getting was 1983 set. This is the additional players for 1983. It also has like a, I don't know, an info sheet or something. And then it has this little chart-like thing that has all the master symbols on them for all the players in 1983. Okay, so there's your, so I think this is uh, that. And so here is like a team. And you will see that some of these cards are cut and rounded edges. Um, and then some of them have got the little perforation tears on, this, on the edge of them. You can see that. And I think these are like the extra set of player cards that was released. Again, I'm not an expert. This is just the information I remember share, the guy shared with me when I went to buy this stuff from him. Um, but they included the extra players, and you can tell because, like I said, some of them are just regular player cards that have the regular rounded edges like normal from APA. Right? Hello, focus. God damn it. Focus. There you go. So it's got the rounded edges and normal everyday info. From the, and then you have like four or five or six of these perforated card edge extra player cards for each of the teams. So there's three there. There's a couple more I see here. And you can always tell because they got the square. They got the square tops because these were just... Um, you know, got the perforated edges. I think they came as like a sheet. You just fold it and and and, um, and, and you know took the players off the sheet. Uh, so, and that is, I believe, this is the 1983 season, but they don't actually have the season on the card. All right. But I know, um, I know when I bought the bought them, and these were not cheap. I'll just tell you that these were not cheap. But um, you know, here's another set. You can see the perforated card right off the top. This edge here and the square, and then of course you got your regulars. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, about twenty six cards for this season set. But again, they don't have the season on them, but I know that it came with the eighty. Uh, this is the 80 C 83 season card master league master edition chart that has all the master ratings on it for all the different teams. There are one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, I'm, again, I'm just assuming. I never played with these cards. So I don't know, but I'm assuming all, you know, all the teams are here. There's 26 of them, so I'm thinking that's probably a good number. Um, for 1983. And, like I said, the sheet, uh, the extra player... Uh, pamphlet on all the extra players you get and you know if you want me to you know if you want me to take a picture and post the picture of the cards or anything you know I'd be more than happy I can email you that information I'm just kind of showing you what I what I, exactly what I see um, Here's, uh, here's another team, so let's just count these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three
symbols on them. You're going to have to either add those to your cards or use the chart that comes. And let's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Probably 26 with both the 82 and the 83 season for every team. Um, and then, of course, with the 70 and 1986, you got these printed on the card. You know, all ready to go. So you're going to get 83, 82 season with the, with the booklet and all the cards, all the teams. 82 season and, 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 and some more over here so Texas Seattle uh, San Francisco Baltimore Boston etc etc so that's the 82 and 83 seasons are very similar in, in structure and cards. They, they come with the cards, without the symbols, without the years, and, and the information is located on this chart. And if you're an APA expert, you might know a little bit more about it than I do. And then you have the 1970 season. Nineteen seventy season. And uh, they do have looks like the information down at the top and the bottom. They are, you know, look like brand new cards. They have no creases, dents, cuts, nothing written on them or anything like that. They look they actually look pristine white, like they've never been used. I know I never used the 1970 season. I used the 1986 for about 10 games, and that was about as far as I got in it. So, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Again, 34, I think the other time we counted up 35 or 36. So between 34, 36 cards. So uh, you can figure that out. Go to their website and figure out if, if that's going to include the extra players. I'm assuming so, but again, I'm not an app expert, app expert. Uh, you guys out there that have played Apple know, and if you've ordered stuff from Apple, you will probably know a little bit more. Uh, I think we did Chicago. Let's try somebody else. Um, let's reach in the bag. This is the 1970 season, California. Seems like a lot of cards. Again, perfect, pristine, white condition cards. No cuts, no nothing different on them. Rounded edges, probably never taken out of the out of this bag except for the time that I'm doing it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. To one, to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, to seven, to eight, to nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So this one has 37. This was uh, California. I suppose it says on the card. Yeah, California, 1970. You can see how crisp and white the cards are. Again, I will just cut to a random player. All right, so that is um, that is the APA. So you're going to get the base game with the Master Edition, plus the four teams from the 2018 season: Boston, Houston, the Dodgers, and Milwaukee. Both the Master Edition and the Basic Edition rules. You're going to get the 1986 season cards. Now, these are really thick. 
I mean, you can tell there's a lot of cards in each of these. And same thing with the 1970 seasons. You can, you can just tell how thick these are, right? You can just you can see how well they're they're busting out of the. Oh, now, which one did I take out of which bag? <laughs> uh, this is 1970. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of cards in these 1970 and 1980s, 86. So, um, 1986, again, I just wanted to pristine white cards. No cuts, no bends, no breaks. Probably, maybe never played. All right. Uh, and then here's the symbols and everything on the cards. Just cut to a random player. So. All right, so it's 1986, 1970 are very similar with the extra, I believe the extra players are included with all the teams. Uh, and then the 2000, or 82 and 83 seasons are very similar in that they don't have the master symbols. They got these charts and, and stuff and they come with about 26 per team. So, and then of course the master edition in the box and everything, selling it all as one big package. If you've already bid, if you already, I've already had several people say, I'm willing to buy all your Apple stuff and here's how much it is. I did, I'm not accepting any of those until you watch this video and you see what I have. If you want to continue with that bid, send me an email and say, yeah, I'm still willing to do it or whatever. Um, I've had, you know, like I said, several people interested in the app of stuff. Um, and so I wanted to do a video and show everyone what you, what you're going to get, you know, what, um, what do you, what you should expect. And then whatever you pay, we're going to do the same thing I did with the payoff pitch. If I sell it as a bundle, uh, I'm going to charge you and then I will ship it to you and whatever it costs to ship me ship it and uh, get it, then you just send me a check or you know, send me a PayPal or whatever after you, after you receive the order. It's, you know, I'm gonna try and get it in like one box, so it probably won't be too much for shipping. I would guess, and I'm not a shipper, so I don't know, but I'm thinking between 12 to $18 to ship all this stuff. I mean, I don't know. It might be less, it might be cheaper, it might be more, I don't know. Uh, but since I'll sell it as a bundle, you pay up front, whatever you put your bid in for, I will ship it to you and then you can pay me for shipping later. Or if you just say, hey, I'm gonna give you $20 for shipping and you wanna pay that up front, that's fine. You know, one way or the other, um, you know, I'm not gonna try and, I'm not trying to make money on shipping. I just, you know, I don't wanna just say, oh, I'll only charge you $10 for shipping and then I go there and it's like $20 and then I'm out $10. So I don't wanna do that. So if you have any questions, down here in the comments, don't send me an email. If you've already bid, I've got several people that are already bid on APA stuff saying I'm willing to buy it. You're gonna have to repost your bid because I'm not accepting anything until I show you what you're getting so you know, because I don't want to I don't want to accept anybody's bid and then have them say, well, I thought it was this and you didn't send that. No, I want you to know exactly what you're getting. All right, I've never used the 82, 83 seasons. I used the 1986 season for about 12 games. We were doing the, who was it? The California Angels, I think. So we were playing the California Angels against a few teams. Uh, we played that, you know, maybe 10 or 12 games. And then, um, you know, never touched the rest of it. And again, I can just randomly pull out a team from 1970. And you can see the cards are, you know, like brand making new white cards All right so I, I have full confidence I wouldn't I would tell you if if these were abused or not in good shape or whatever because the last thing I want to do is sell my stuff and then have someone pissed off because they're not happy with what they got alright that's the last thing I want to deal with 
All right. I just want to, I want it to go to a good home. I want people to enjoy it and use it instead of it sitting here on my shelf, not doing a damn thing. So if you're an APA guy or you're thinking about getting the APA, you're going to put a bid in for all this stuff, all this stuff. You got this, you got this, you got the 1970 season, full set, 1970 cards, all right? And then you have the 2000, or the 1982 and the 1983 season cards with the master edition rule book and everything like that. If you're not into APA, now's your chance to get into it. Send me a bundle price. I will update everyone on Wednesday next Wednesday on who is winning the bid. So if you want to up your bid or whatever, that would be your time to do it. I will let everyone know up front. I've had some people very interested in the APA stuff. So, you know, I'm just letting you know right now, if, if you think you're going to get in for cheap, you know, it's probably not going to happen. I don't, I don't, I don't know how it's going to handle what's going to happen or whatever. I'm actually really considering keeping it, but because I, I really want the app of stuff. So it depends on how much it sells. That'll determine whether or not I keep it because I was actually, just before I decided to get out of the sports game market, I was actually in on the app site looking for some seasons to actually purchase because I really want to try get into app and play app and make it a regular thing on my channel at the time I was going to. And so I'm considering even keeping the stuff that I have, but Right now, it's not being used. If I can get a good price and people, you know, are interested in it and they're going to be able to use it and keep it and enjoy it more than I am, then I might be willing to sell it. But let me know. Uh, you have until Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. Wednesday night. We'll update on who's winning the bids for everything. Probably do a live show on that on Wednesday. So if you want to stop in, stop in Wednesday night. Uh, and that way, if you have any questions or whatever, um, it might not be live because I don't want people posting, you know, well, I bid this much on it. How can I not be winning? And then other people would be like, oh, well, you know, so it probably maybe won't. I don't know. We'll just see. Anywho, because I don't want any hard feelings between people either. Like, oh, I can't believe you outbid me by like two dollars. That's ridiculous, man. Or, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't want to deal with that. I just want people to be happy and enjoy my stuff. Like I said, I'm actually thinking about keeping some of this stuff after all. Um, but I, I really was getting into APA. As you watched about last month or so, I was actually doing some APA stuff and enjoying it. And, um, you know, we were doing the replay of the 2018 um, ALCS between Boston and Houston. And that was a great time, and I was having good fun, and I thought, wow, I should get some APA stuff. This is a pretty good system. I was using the Merino boards. Oh, speaking of which, and I can't get to them. God damn. Uh, I got all my payoff pitch stuff in the way, and I can't get into my drawers. All right, I will also include, for well, those of you who are still sticking around, I will also include, I have a whole bunch of sheets that I created, or not created, uh, got from different sources and different people and online or whatever that have like extra rules, like the Marina boards and stuff. I think this is called the... I think this is like the DVAL system. Now, this is on huge... Eight, uh, 11, eight and a half by 14 sheets and in color and everything and they look really nice and so we're in second and third and you know i'm just showing you i'm not showing you all the sheets um so that's that and then i've got i've got a book i've got a book as you can see <laughs> i got a book and it's got in here all kinds of different systems for add-ons for the APA system. So there is this one here. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. And there's that. And then I have the Osleague uh, 
used for APA Master Game Pitching Grades. And I think this is the Merino Board stuff, if I'm not mistaken. The Steel Chances. Uh, and then the Adjustment Charts. So I got that one in here. They're all on cardstock paper. And then printed in color. Uh, and then I have the actual rules, master rules, and uh, some of the other rules just is tucked into, uh, you can see there's like 40 pages of rules on different systems and stuff in here. And then also like a steel chart chance. So different, um, different ways to use the APA, the different online systems. And I, I, again, I'm not an expert on what they are and who did them and why and how and all that stuff. I'll include this book and I will include this. Again, I'm seriously considering keeping it, but like I said, if I can get a good price uh, and somebody might enjoy it a little bit more than me, then, you know, since I'm not gonna be using it for a while, if I ever use it again, I might as well, you know, try to try to sell it to somebody that might enjoy it and use it. So. You're going to get four complete seasons plus all the extra players. You're going to get the actual rule books from APA with the boards and the dice and the counters. And you're going to get the 2018 four teams from 2018. You're going to get the rule, the extra rules in my folder on cardstock and in the, uh, in the sheets. And then you'll have these as well. So that's the APA stuff. All right, uh, if you've already put a bid in, great, but I'm not accepting it. You have to rebid or send me another email saying, hey, I'm willing to pay what I had posted before or, you know, I, I offered too much before or I didn't offer enough or whatever, if you want to change your bid or whatever. But you got to send me another email. Don't say, well, you know, I already bid on that. No, you didn't because you didn't see the stuff. You just assumed. I want you to know what you're getting. I want you to be happy when you get it, if you get, if you win it. And I don't want any confusion and, and, and conflict after I sell it to you, right? So purchase price, you send it to me, I ship it out to you, then you pay me for the shipping. Simple as that. If it's happy, then I'm happy and everyone and the world goes around. All right, any questions down here, don't send me an email. If you bid, send me another email with a rebid. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.